One of the um, problems with the Bafang mid-drive motor kit is this um, bottom bracket um, bracket which holds the motor tight onto the frame um, by squeezing it in between this uh, this locking ring uh, and the frame. Um, because it keeps coming loose on many bikes I've uh, welded on a piece of steel here so that um, hopefully, although it's uh, a bit thicker than it needs to be, that's all I had available, uh, hopefully that will um, go on to here like so, bolt onto the motor and then clamp down here I'll uh, drill and tap um, a, uh, a screw into here uh, I've got some uh, clinch nuts so uh, we'll have a look at doing that and seeing the effect it has um, at the moment there's the only thing which is holding the motor and it's quite a heavy unit um, is this bracket and it's not really up to the job in standard form I don't think I also found that the, uh, the shaft of the motor was actually quite loose in the bottom bracket there was a bit of clearance I think this is a 73 mil um, width bracket um, but the uh, there was some up and down play side to side play because the shaft was a little smaller than the the hole through the bottom bracket so I've actually put about a, a one mil shim all the way around the, uh, the shaft to, to really firm it up a bit uh, to stop any lateral play uh, I'll just snug this up um, temporarily now just so I can get a position for this bracket and just mark that off so I know where it's going to go then we can uh, drill and put a, a rivet nut in or something to be a seven. Okay to set the rivet nut um, you can get a special tool for this but uh, I've just got a, a high tensile bolt, um, a nut washer and here's the, uh, the alloy rivet nut or whatever you call it. Um, so we'll put that in there, pop it in. The idea I think would be to hold the bolt still and then compress the the rivet nut by tightening this. We'll see if it works. This takes quite a bit of force, I must say. This is the first time I've tried it, but uh, it's definitely getting it's getting tight now. I won't go mad because uh, I don't want to strip the, the thread. So saying, I'll give it another squeeze and let's see if we can loosen it off. Well, it's gone in to have done the job. The plate. Good. Okay. Yeah, that should, that should uh, be pretty secure now, even without tightening up the bottom bracket. You can see that it's going to be, it's never going to come loose again. I hope. Okay, so this is the uh, 
bracket stabilizing bar all uh, in position now and tightened up um, seems to have worked out quite well in the end and I don't think it'll be going anywhere soon the last mod I had to carry out on this um, Trek mountain bike build is the uh, fixing the battery pack um, into the frame I used the uh, the bottle mounts on the rear seat post um, and a clamp around the front you can't quite see it there's a jubilee clamp in there around an alloy plate which I had to bolt on both ends of the battery pack um, there was just no room at all to get the battery out once it was in place so it's a permanent fixture now on this bike there's no way you can slide it out there just isn't enough space there Another small mod to the uh, hydraulic brakes for this mountain bike um, is the incorporation of a little uh, micro switch here um, in place of these magnetic um, reed switches, is what, which is what um, the Bafang people um, supply. Um, nowhere really to fit these successfully on here. I've had trouble with these magnetic switches before um, and I've opted for a little micro switch instead. I don't know if you can um, get close enough to see that. I think we probably can. Uh, it's just a little micro switch mounted on a PCB Vero board um, and epoxied into place with a, an actuating screw there. So every time you brake or as soon as you just touch the lever, it um, shuts off the motor. Mm -hmm.